Hey, Saxon course two, lesson 34, decimal numbers on the number line. So here it wants me to find the length of this segment in centimeters and in millimeters. So with a, with a ruler, a centimeter ruler, there are 10, 10 millimeters in between each centimeter. Okay, so I know that this is going to be for A, it's going to be two centimeters and a little bit more. So my and is my decimal, so I need to count how many tick marks there are. So it's going to be one, two, three tick marks after the two. So it's going to be 2.3, three tenths. In millimeters, okay, if there are 10 millimeters in between each centimeter, that means it's going to be 20 three millimeters, okay? Because there's 20 between the one, the zero and the two, and then I'm going three more, one, two, three, to get 23 millimeters, okay? Find the perimeter of this rectangle in meters. So first, I need to figure out what the perimeter is in centimeters. So I would do 12 times two, plus 12 times, sorry, 7 times 2, okay, because there's two sides that are 12 and two sides that are 7. So it will be 24 plus 14, which is equal to 38. So it's 38 centimeters in my perimeter. Now remember that a centimeter is one hundredth of a meter. So 38 centimeters is going to be 38 hundredths of a meter, which you could also write as a decimal 0 0.38. All right, this one wants us to find the number on the number line indicated by each arrow. So here we have between 4.0 and 4.1, there are 10 10 marks, 10 tick marks in between those two. Okay. So A is going to be um, in the hundredths. So it's going to be 4 point, okay. It's not 4.1 4 because that's the next one. So it's going to be 0 because there's 0 in the tenths place. And then A looks like it's on the fifth tick mark right in the middle. So it's going to be 4.05. For B, it's going to be 4.3 and a little bit more. So we count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So B is pointing to the eighth tick mark. So it's going to be 4.38. Okay. And then C is going to be 4.7. Okay. And then my hundredths is going to be it's going to be 1, 2, 3, so it's going to be 4.73 for C. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.